What is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and welcome to another Pokemon video. Uh, first off, I just want to apologize for lack of content. I feel like it's been one thing health-wise after another. Uh, you still might hear me coughing in the background, but um, we're going to be talking about... Obviously, we're going to talk about these PSA returns, and then we're going to talk about... <clears throat> uh, I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on uh, tracking your collections. Uh, there's a couple apps out there right now, Collector and the PSA app. And we'll time to talk about it. But first we have a Japanese card. And I honestly don't remember which what these cards are. I just have stacks of returns that I had for a while. And just to in the queue to make some videos. Alright, we're starting off with the 20th anniversary Reds Pikachu. This was a Japanese exclusive promo. And I have to say, this thing looks great. And if you don't have this in your collection, uh, I definitely recommend just getting one. I don't think they're that expensive. Raw, they're I don't know what the prices are now, but uh, I think they're always pretty cheap. There's plenty of them out there, and it's not too hard to grade. I bet you can even get a 10 for not a bad price. So um, just be, look how awesome that art is. Very unique. So I think this is a, one of those cards that is very easy to get into your collection, and should everyone should have one. So we've got a couple 10s on there. And once again, yeah, like I said, very easy to grade. we got three 10s in a row. And they're just going to keep coming. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of them. And uh, yeah, ooh, okay, we got something different. The Shibu Shibuya, and so for all the Pokemon Centers, um, I'm not sure if it's when they open, but they have these special promos, and they're always something different, and I think it reflects a little bit about the city or bureau or whatever um, for that center, and I really do like this one. It's kind of like a spray paint uh, Pikachu, so very happy with that 10. <clears throat> got another one, another PSA 10. But all right, so ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to to get in my thoughts about the the tracking of your collection. Uh, but Ultra Shiny GX, the Japanese version, of Hidden Fates came out what was that good year before Hidden Fates? So for a long time, like these were this was the only way to get these shinies, and eventually came to English. But um, you know, definitely the Japanese has a very special place and kind of like a lot of sentimental value for me, and very happy to get another ten. Ooh, okay. Even you know, I'm so content with the nine. Let's see, what's wrong with this? I feel like the centering isn't terrible. This corner looks pretty thin compared to that one. Let's just take a look at this one again. Uh, yeah, must I'm guessing it was a centering kind of thing. Japanese cards are usually very high print quality, but <clears throat> ooh, <laughs> I'm never gonna get to it. But all right, let's just do it. So two different apps. Um, I think if there's like another better way to track your collection, uh, let me know in a comment. But I feel like the prevailing ways are kind of like the PSA set registry and um, this collector app. Uh, so this thing uh, was in the set versus the English where you had to get that um, super premium, super duper collection box with the statue. Uh, but for Japanese, it was just in the set. Sorry, we got a bunch of Ultra Shiny GX. This one's only an eight. Uh, I feel like that's quite low. I'm pretty disappointed with this. Obviously, the centering is not great. And I was—I guess I was at the mentality like, let me submit any evolution. This was dirt back during bulk submissions when they were ten bucks. Loot gold, loot nala, and I think again, this is not a promo. They're all in the regular set, but the number eight. Any eights for Japanese cards is very disappointing. Actually, nine is disappointing. Eight is—it's like, all right, there's something here that I missed, and then ten is. <laughs> kind of like what 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 you're always expecting. Wow, a lot of eights. Although you know where, where these are getting eights is not the end of the world. They're happy with the the Charizard got the ten and the nine. But all right, let's talk about so the PSA set registry versus collector. And I'm wondering if I want to start going towards the collector or evolution with nine. Nice. Because that one, the biggest delta is the pro is that it um, does seal product. Are here this is from the ultra premium collection i think this you know i don't think these will go you know age too well actually i think this product um they just kept pumping out the dogs in in various promo forms uh so this one i think i game nerds you can still buy it for it's marked up at like 150 versus starting at 100 uh but for a product that came out in 2020 you know that's that's not bad or you know the price hasn't gone up so i, I i'm not too uh, I don't think these promos will do very well. Obviously, I'm happy with the 10, uh, but this 9 is pretty disappointing. And like the art style, um, I, I feel like it doesn't do a whole lot for the dogs. Um, some some cards, some arts, 
the you know this kind of like shading for the gold uh, it works really well I don't think it includes these ones unfortunately but all right so yeah collector biggest pro is that it's um, you know you can add all your sealed products uh, the thing I not although I think this is the case for anything is it's difficult to track you know how much things are worth like it'll try to scrape I think TCG and eBay but there's like a couple boxes that I have in my collection um, that is, oh, is this oh it's worth 900 and and I know that's way off base like I have a box on my eBay store <laughs> for 350 and it and it's been there for a while I get like offers for like 300 um, so I think you know those those numbers you always take with it with a grain of salt um, and because because it's not accurate because it's not that easy to do so like it, it's collector is cool it gives you like this nice chart or how your collection is doing but like that those numbers don't necessarily mean that much um, Collector also can do raw cards, but I'm definitely not going to do raw. I think I'm going to stick to sealed, maybe PSA, uh, maybe slabs. All right, so this is another one of the um, Pokemon Center. This is the Kanazawa Pikachu. Pretty nice with the 10. Another 10. Uh, so versus PSA, I would say the advantage of PSA, it tracks it down to the cert number. Um... And this, the value thing probably, maybe it's a little more accurate, just a guess, because a lot of the slabs that, that you know, let's just say it's not significant value, it actually doesn't give one. Uh, however, there are two numbers. It's like PSA value and something else value. And so, like, I don't even, to be honest, don't even know what the difference is. Wow, all right. We did pretty good on the Kanazawa. Um, not my favorite art, but I do like how it kind of has that um, uh, kimono kind of... Um, on, like you know that they wear it for festivals and stuff oh my gosh we did <laughs> it's great at a bunch of these all right we do have something different so these are our primarily modern cards rebel clash the uh, the gold berserker i think this was a kind of a cool card 20 uh do 20 damage to your deck to pokemon eh, maybe not <laughs> all right some evolution stuff we got the mega blast always love this art Happy to add these to the collection, uh, especially tens. Anything like less than ten, I'm surprised I grade this. The, the secret, the secret rare uh, flying Pikachu. I'm not sure if I had like the original. Uh, Burning Shadows. This Charizard art is definitely underappreciated in my opinion. Very cool, very close up. In fact, like over the years, I, I appreciate this one more than like the the full arts, the the rainbow. I just think this one's. Just a very interesting perspective. Only get the nine there though. Evolution's Dragonite. Very cool card. Love how it feels. If this feels like a gold card, even though it's that's just like the 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 full art variety. Ah, okay. Love the on the ball cards. I'm not sure how they'll do. I I felt like they had the potential to be, you know, um, Kind of like the screams, although art-wise, they're they're not nearly as nice. But just like a promo that kind of was was around, people were probably aware of it. But you know, maybe people just ignored it, and then maybe the 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 print run was pretty low. Uh, I'm not sure how that's panning out. I'm guessing it's not panning out nearly as well as I'd hoped. Uh, but happy to pick these up. I think so. It has like the new starters, the Sword and Shield starters, um, Eevee, and then the Pikachu. And even the Pikachu one, um, the price has come down quite a bit. Ooh, very cool card here. This is, oh, this is from the set. Uh, so Charizard Level X. Only a near mint to mint 8, but uh, definitely happy to add this to the Zard collection. The Alga uh, EX. So I feel like this is a good example of during the XY era, which I was not really collecting. They're just... They, they did different things for their their like secret rares. I'm presuming this is yeah secret rares, and where now it's you know it's very much like oh rainbow and now they're doing like alt arts and stuff like that. But you know they would just try different things. I think there's like a gold version of something. Um, so there's just some gaps in my collection, and I feel like this fills one of them. Uh, you know not too crazy about the eight, but happy to have this card slabbed up. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so, so those are the, the two main ways that I'm aware of to kind of like track your collection. And I'm not sure if I want to go PSA registry for, 
you know, slabs and then collector for sealed. I'm, I'm not going to do raw, uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. You know, which, which do you like? Um, I feel like collectors gaining momentum. I'm guessing because they have a nice, you know, a nice UI. They don't have a web, like a web interface, uh, but their, their mobile app just, you know, has like the nice charts and stuff. And it feels like, you know, like you're tracking stocks or something like that. Eternatus is another card, very similar to the dogs where you know, Sword and Shield, I feel like the, their promos, you know, they just they just really pushed certain things. Actually, like Evolution, they, they can push Evolution promos and it'll always work. Uh, Eternatus and dogs, not so much. It's like, all right, we, we, we've seen enough and it's always the same art with just like a different coloring style. So I, I'm not too optimistic for, for these. Uh, just because, yeah, they just kind of buried them. Ooh, love, lovely Blastoise. This is from the Premium Collection. Uh, so happy with that. Nine? You know, I think I do have a ten, though, so I, I'm content. And a last card for this um, <laughs> PSA video is ooh, a unique one. Not a ten, so disappointed with the nine, but we got the, the alternate art babies. Uh, so this came from the Small But Mighty Collection. I, I'm, I'm more optimistic about the seal than the actual promo. I think in the 10 will do okay, but you know, if you do have like this box, actually you can just take a look at it. Uh, if it looks really good, maybe it's worth getting graded, but to be honest, I would just keep it sealed. Uh, this one does look pretty good. I'm not sure why I got the nine, uh, but you know, I think I do have some more of these in the returns I still have to go through. So I'm pretty confident I'll get a 10 eventually, but um, all right, so that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, I'm curious what your thoughts are on tracking collections. Um, collector, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it for the sealed. I don't, I don't place much trust in like the valuations for for a handful of the stuff. Um, although I'm not sure a lot of it's pretty good. And um, I, yeah, I guess the last thing is um, you know this this product they're they're still selling it at GameStops. I think the price went back up to 50 from 40. I think 40 was a great great price. And, you know, when you get those once per month coupons, if you're like pro whatever at GameStop, I think it's, this is definitely worth considering. I think the last time I was going to buy like a pack of cards or something, but I ended up buying like a Funko Pop instead. Uh, but this is a very solid product. Uh, shout out to Richard Omega. I think he pulled the Brilliant Stars Alternate Art Charizard V. Uh, but we see, I can see Eevee Heroes in here as well. So definitely worth, worth considering. Um, and uh, yeah, still really available. I bet in a year from now, uh, there will be people like, oh, you know, I should have picked this thing up uh, when I had the chance for, you know, that $40, $50 price point uh, before coupons and stuff. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, again, sorry for the lack of content. Hope to have more of these videos coming out regularly moving forward. And uh, yeah, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.